Yeah. Lovely. Let's get those limbs loosey goosey. Excellent. Okay. Jog round the dog. Hello. Oh, sorry. I wouldn't want both training my wife. <laughs> Hey! Had your Valentine's party. Was a huge success. Knock it down, though. Took loads of bookings for today off the back of it. Good. Right. What I wanted to talk to you about. Hey, James asked T to marry him. What did he say? Yes, the fool. Perry got back together with Juliet. There's romance in the air for you and Dan as well. What do you want to ask me? Well, I was thinking you could do with some top notch male company behind the bar. You know, like moral support, yeah? Get the bounce and the ale flowing at the same time. You want some shifts because you're skilled, right? Yeah, well, you, yeah, there is that. You know, I think you need a mate while you're building the business up again. You know, after everything that Eric put you all through. I'm throwing myself into it for that exact reason. Diane is overdoing it, trying to recover from what my brother did. I don't really think you're over it yet, either. <sighs> Look, you can have some shifts, but Eric is off topic, OK? OK. Not do you good, having me back. Bit of normality behind the bar again, eh? Yeah, well. And Bo can concentrate on Diane. I mean, she was literally skipping out the door earlier. Easy to see why. I mean, it's like looking at you but 20 years ago, isn't it? So come on, that bod, let's get to work. Woo! I'm back. Yeah. Hey, make us a coffee, will you, please, Darren? Yeah. You know, me and Nancy had our own Valentine's party. All the kids miraculously in bed asleep for once. You know, when we're going through a dry spell, yeah, everything I do annoys Nancy. You know, like breathing. <laughs> but then when the magic happens, she hates me a lot less. <laughs> hey, yeah. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting Bo on his lunch break at the gym. Well, you just had a workout with him this morning. Yeah, but this is just a really gentle yoga thing. Well, can't you stretch on your own? Tony, I don't want to be on my own, understandably. Come on, this is me just trying to get my confidence back, you know, to feel stronger and sexier. Be like me again. I thought you might want to help out here. Well, it looks like you've got Dan to do that. <sighs> Fine, remember what the doctor said, yeah? Take time to rest. Oh, Tony, I'll rest when I'm dead. You know, having a near-death experience taught me how to live. Anyway, I want to. I'll see you later. Oh, I predict a dry patch. Oh! Maybe, maybe, maybe a wet patch? I'll get a cloth. But now I can stop thinking, thinking Hi, it's Diane. I can't take your call, but leave me a message. I can't stop hey, it's me. Just wondering what time you're back with Bo and, you know, seeing what you want for dinner, who's picking up the kids. OK, then, give me a call back. Love you. It's a protein, let's get it down, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Oh, yeah, reward-based training, I like it. <laughs> when did you two get back? Um, about half an hour ago. Well, didn't you get my message? What? Sorry, was it urgent? Well, so you just ignored me? No, we went for a long walk. You said it was yoga at the gym? Well, I changed my mind. What's up with you? And since when do you enjoy leisurely walks? The most fresh air you get is watching Country File. Well, I'm trying to get fitter, OK? I'm trying to change. Oh, yeah? For who? Right. What is that supposed to mean? Hold on, you don't honestly think that... Oh, my God, are you actually saying...? Tony, good question. Why are you giving up every spare minute to be with Diane? Because I care about her. Oh, yeah? Feelings mutual, is it? Man half my age, my son even. Darren said it, didn't you, Darren? I... I, I didn't say it like that. Well, where's all this coming from? I can't believe you think that. What I've got into you 